मोरे तुम प्रभु गुरपी तुम
फलसार भक्षण उमासुत शोक विनाशकार या कुंदेन्दु तुषार हार धवला या शुभ वस्त्रावृता या विना वरदन्न मंदित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभृति भी देवै सदा वंदिता सामां पात सरस्वती भगवती सामां पात सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाद्यापहार गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरः गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः अखंड मंदलाकारम व्याप्तम् ये न चराचरम् तत्पदम् दर्शितम् ये न तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे लोका भिराम रनरन चीरम राजीवने प्रम रघुवम शनाथम कारुन्य रूपम करुना करम तम श्रीराम चंद्रम शरणम् प्रपद मनोजवम् मारुतुल्य वेगम् जितेन्द्रियम् बुद्धिमतम् वरे वातात्मजम् वा नरयुत्मोक्यम् श्रीरामदूतम् शरणम् प्रपद्ये बोलो राम 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 सीता राम राम Oh, God. 
Let me welcome all of you to this satsang tonight. We are somewhere in the region of night number 50, if our counting goes right. Goswami Tulsidashi is relating an enormous historical event that took place, the avatar of Bhagawan himself, the infinite, limitless law of the universe taking a finite form. And through his actions, guiding all of us on the spiritual path. And Tulsidashi says, just by listening to these glories of that Lord, that we can cross over this sansar. Just by listening alone. Shravana. When we left it last night, Bhagwan Ram had come to the ashram of the great sage Valmiki Ji. Valmiki was the one who originally wrote the story of Ram. And you should not be confused about this. Um, he wrote the story of Rama, but the story of Rama happens in every Treta Yuga. There is Satyuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, Kali Yuga. Then there is pralai, dissolution. And it stays for one night of Brahmaji. And then again, Brahmaji wakes up the day of Brahmaji, starts with Satyug, Tritayug, Dwaparyug, and Kalyug. And again, Brahmaji goes to sleep. And that goes on and on. And so, how many times has the avatar of Rama taken place? Countless, because time is. In Hinduism, please remember that time is not linear in Hinduism. Time is cyclical. It goes on and on and on. It is eternal. There is no end. Eternal. And everything is eternal like that. Okay. We've all been here 
countless times and we are here and we will be here. We are not going anywhere. That is why it's not really good, not good to rush anything in this world. Because where are you going? Huh? You are going nowhere. Nobody are going nowhere. Mm, come back here only. Mm. So, Tulsi Daji is relating one of these advent of Bhagavan Ram. And he has a rich history to choose from. This whole happened only five, six hundred years ago. But a rich history of so many authors that preceded him. And so he has to choose aspects of this story. And himself going inside and with his own eyes seeing the whole story unfold. That also is possible because nothing in this world is lost. Nothing new is created. No, nothing, no, nothing is lost. Huh? Everything is there. Everything is there in the records. The cosmic record. Hmm? We just have to pull it. If we can go inside, we can pull it. The universe is an infinite library of all things. We can pull out everything. So here he meets Valmiki Ji. And Valmiki Ji, you all know in the previous part of his life, the initial part of his life was a big time highway robber. Hmm? But here Tulsi Dashi describes him as Bipra Munibara, great sage. And I told you that is a very great indication to all of us. Every saint had a past, we say. Every saint had a past. And every sinner has a future. So, Valmiki Ji is the proof of this, um, the embodiment of this truth. Now, Bhagwan left, when we left last night, Bhagwan had asked him a question. You tell me where to stay in this place so that I will not be any nuisance to anybody. I don't want to create any discomfort, any misery, any sorrow to anybody. I need a place where I can be out of people's way. And I will, especially the saints and sages. And then he tells some strong verses that those who create trouble for holy people, they burn without fire. And I told you the example of Ravana. Hanumanji did not take any fire there. You see. But they burnt. You see. No. He also said a very nice thing we saw last night. Very interesting. That if you jasa kachia tasa chahia nacha It means if you have chosen the, the garb or the disguise then you have to play the role. If you dress up a, as a a beggar and you go on stage. Well, you have to play the role as a beggar. You can't be dress up like a beggar with a begging bowl and then you go on the stage and you're playing the role of a king. Where you born, arrow? You come with a bowl and you want to shoot people? See, if you dress up like a beggar and you go on the stage, you have to play the role of a beggar. If you dress up as a king and you go on the stage, you have to play the role of a king. So all of us have come in this world and we have uh, dressed up in certain ways. We have to play that role. But here specifically, Tulsi Dashi is referring to Bhagwan Ram and Valmiki Ji now. One is sage. Okay. One is a youngster. And Bhagwan has dressed up as a human being. Manushya Avatar, isn't it? Manusha Charit, he's playing. Because Ravan can only be removed by Manushya, human being. So Bhagwan Ram comes as a human being. So, if he comes there now, a human being meets a great sage, what is he supposed to do? Prostration. You have to play the role. Isn't it? Any ordinary jiva meets a sage, he has to prostrate. So Bhagavan Ram prostrates to the great sage Valmiki Ji. And then the jiva asks for advice from the sage. So he is coming to the role as a sage and he is coming to the role as a jiva. So when he asked now, both of them laughed. Tell me where to stay. Valmiki Ji first said, Hey Prabhu, you tell me where you are not. Then I will tell you where to stay. Tell me where you are not there. And I will tell you where to stay. And laughed, but I am playing the role of a sage. And you are playing the role of Jiva. So now I have to guide the Jiva. The sage has to guide the Jiva. And this is where we have to start tonight now. He tells him 14 abodes. 
14 places to stay. I told you this section of Rama is very popular. In fact, it will not be in our 10. It is some verses from last night, 10, and some verses from tonight, 10. Then we'll see. <coughs> and we'll be way behind, but we'll catch up. Don't worry. We do like tomatoes and ketchup. So, we'll see these 14 abodes where Valmiki Ji tells Bhagwan Ram to dwell. Because that was his question. Tell me where to dwell, where to stay. All right. So this is if you have your Ramayana. This is after one to seven. One to seven ke baad do teen pankti ke niche. Jin ke shravan samudra samana. Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram Jine Keshra Samana Shri Ram Jaya 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 Ram Jahaan Basa You live in the hearts of those people. Which people? That is the rest of the lines. Describe now those people. This is the first abode. First, well, let me tell you. First thing, all the 14 abode is in people's hearts. But what type of people? Hmm? 14 different type of people like that. So you live in the hearts of these people. So which is the first one? He says, live in the hearts of those people, Jinake Shravana Samudra Samana, whose airs is like the ocean. Airs like ocean? No, no, the airs like ocean. Even if you have a big airs, people will call you big airs. Yeah? No, no, the airs like ocean. But you have to listen for that. Huh? Jinake Shravana Samudra Samana, like the ocean. Katha tumhari subhaga sari nana bharahi nirantar hoi na pure. There is all lines in one line. In meaning to say, whose airs are like the ocean. And your katha is like all the countless rivers. You know how many countless kathas of Bhagwan? Like all the countless rivers that flow to, to towards the ocean. And how long have these rivers been flowing towards the ocean? I see Baba sitting in front here, you know. Some friend of mine came from Guyana and we take him from Piaco Airport to the ashram. And when we passed Karani, they said, look, this is Trinidad's biggest river. Karani River, this is Trinidad's biggest river. He said, man, if a dog chase me, I jump over that thing. He will laugh at the river. 
No, I, when, when I went to Guyana, I understand why you laugh at real river. Because they have real rivers. We have a little dream. Yeah. So anyway, how long has this river been flowing into the ocean? And he says, Katha tumhari subhaga sarinana. Sarinana means countless rivers, right? Bharahi nirantar hohi na pure. They have been flowing for millions and millions of years towards the ocean. But the ocean has never become filled. Have you seen the ocean overflowing anyway? Never become filled, you see? He said, people whose heirs listen to the Katha of Rama over and over and over and they never become filled. Live in those people's hearts. That is, that is what he means to say. Whoever wants to listen to the Katha of Ram and they can never become satisfied. I want to listen more. I want to listen more. I want to listen more of this Katha of Rama. Live in the heart of those people. Otherwise, and see the water stays, it goes in the ocean and stays there. Eh? In our case, the Katha goes in this air and goes out from the other air. Actually, there are two types of listeners. One is called a whole pot, and the other is called a crack pot. <laughs> whole pot, when you put the water inside the pot, it stays in the pot, isn't it? But the crack pot, when you put the water inside the pot, what happens? Leak out. <laughs> so one fellow was listening, no one Mahatma was telling this story. That it have whole pot and crack pot. When the katha goes in, it stays, that whole pot. When the katha goes in, it leaks out. The crack pot. He went and tell the Mahatma, he said, he said, Mahatma ji, my crack pot hum. Hmm? I am a crack pot. When the katha goes in today, gone tomorrow. He said, but that have benefit too. Mahatma ji, that also have benefit. Because when you, you tell me the katha today and it leak out, tomorrow I have place for our next one. <laughs> so that also have your own benefit. Eh? But Valmiki ji tells Bhagwan, you live in the hearts of those people who never become satisfied listening to your katha. They still want to hear more and more and more like the ocean never become filled. Huh? That is first abode, number one. There's number two now, see. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama
महात्मा लोग सत्संगी सज्जन दे डू वंडरफुल विचार ऑन दिस रामायण ऑल द टाइम एंड दैट इज वट वी शुड बी डूइंग आई टोल्ड ना यस्ट आई वॉज चलिंग यू हाउ डी फेल आ क्लिक टॉन दी पिक्चर एविजन सरनली सो मेनी पीपल अपेयर फ्रॉम ऑल साइड्स वाई He click on the television and, and three fellows were walking. The, no, they were not there. They were walking the shop, and he also stand up. There. Why? The moment he put it on the playway number come. So that, that, I'm telling you, that's what people think about all day. You see, what what we spend our life, our precious jivan, life, thinking what what this number will come, that number will come. There are so many different kind of things we could be thinking about from scriptures. So here is one thing. This is homework. रामायण हा हो मग तू दो कम बाग तू मोरू वन फेलो वेन टू द्लास अर्ली मॉर्निंग दी टीचर इसे मिस विल यू पनिश मी फॉर समथिंग विच आई डिट डू Did Miss say no? If you didn't do it, why I would punish you? He said, "Well, Miss, I didn't do my homework." <laughs> How he is smart. Uh, he asked before. So anyway, here's homework for you. Valmiki Ji is doing what? He is listing 14 abodes for Bhagwan Ram to dwell, and the 14 abodes are in the hearts of those people, right? Was so it the one who likes to listen to the Ram Katha? the first one and in the end after he lists then he tells stay in that person's heart after he tells in stay in that person's heart but in the 14 or you will see sometimes he say like in the first one he says tin ke hi tum kahu grah rore prabhu you please stay in his heart who whose ears never become filled listening to your katha and now in the next one whose eyes thirst to get your darshan Stay in that person's heart, but he says, "Basahu bandhu siya saha ragunaya." Prabhu, you stay in that person's heart along with Lakshmana and Sita ji. In the first one, he did not say stay with Lakshmana and Sita ji. You stay. Huh? So in the fourteen, sometimes he says, "You stay." Sometimes he says, "You stay with Sita and like." Now I go homework for you to know why. Why are you telling like that? You see, Brahman doesn't tell why he told like that. The no way in Ramayana is written, but instead of thinking of play way, you think about why would Valmiki ji is saying stay with Sita and, and Lakshmana, and sometimes he's saying stay, you stay alone. You can go on reflecting on this over and over and over. Huh? If you have to go crazy, go crazy with that. Why you go crazy with play way? Better to talk too much. All lunchy people might have. Um, they might come after me, you know. So anyway, that, that is. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now because we now started. And you see, in the first two, you see that there are difference. In the first two abode, there's a difference already. In the first one, you stay. In that person's heart. In the second one, you say, stay with Sita and Lakshmana. Now, who is the second one? Lord Chana Chatak, whose eyes are like a Chatak bird. There's a Chatak bird, which. तो सीधा जी हिमसेल्फ डिस्क्राइब्स निदर ही सरित सिंधु सरस भारी ही डिसरिगार्ड्स रिवर्स पॉन्ड्स लेक इवन द ओशन विद ऑल ऑफ द वाटर ही डिसरिगार्ड्स ऑल ऑफ दैट हां रूप बिंदु जल हो ही सुखारी रह ही दरस जल धर अभिलाषे ही लुक्स एट दैट क्लाउड एंड व्हेन द फर्स्ट ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर कम्स फ्रॉम दैट क्लाउड ही कैचेस एंड दैट इज द ओनली वाटर ही विल ड्रिंक आई डोंट वांट एनी अदर वाटर So, he, so then what? He doesn't take it because he doesn't want to miss. Also, because he's thirsty. Yeah, I'm not drinking this water. He'll be thirsty all the time. So then he doesn't want to miss that drop of water coming from the cloud. So he looks at that cloud and looks at nothing else. So whose eyes look at you? Who I, whose eyes thirst like this bird is thirsting for that drop of water? Whose eyes thirst to get? दत्त दर्शन दैट इज व्हाई बी भक्त सिंह ना दर्शन दो घनश्याम नाथ मोरे अखिया प्यासी रे माय आईज आर थर्स्टी माय आईज थर्स्ट 
अखियां प्यासी रे दर्शन दो यू प्लीज गिव मी योर दर्शन सो हुज आईज आर लाइक दैट प्रभु यू स्टे इन देयर हार्ट विद अलोंग विद लक्ष्मण एंड सीता जी यू सी दिस इज व्हाट ही मींस टू से हां नो व्हिच इज द थर्ड अब नो आई हैव टू गो फास्ट टू टेल आई कैन आई कैन स्टे लोंगर देयर बिकॉज़ वी विल नॉट फिनिश number 3 see this jasu tumhar manas vimala जसु तुम्हार मानस विमला लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दैट फ्रेज ऑल द ग्रेट ग्लोरीज ऑफ भगवान राइट जसु हिज नेम एंड हिज फेम एंड हिज ग्लोरीज एंड हिज ग्रेटनेस एंड हिज महिमा एंड जसु ब जसु व्हिच मींस ऑल ऑफ दिस हां दे आर सो मच दे आर लाइक मानस विमला अ प्योर लेक ऑफ ग्लोरीज ऑफ भगवान राम हाउ दे नो एंड हम I told you now. Like, see how the the greatness of Bhagwan is such that even if he touches a jada vastu, jada means an inert thing, lifeless thing, right? Jada vastu. If he touches a jada vastu, even that thing becomes jivit, alive, sentient. What greatness? When we touch jada vastu, it gets more jada. Huh? very greatness of ram no such greatness of ram is an infinite lake so he says stay in the heart of that devotee hey prabhu stay in the heart of that devotee who hamsini jiha jasu mukta hal guna gana chunai from that lake of the glories of bhagwan ram that devotee who could go there in a lake there will be pearls under the lake so that devotee who is like a hamsa bird who could go and choose out the pearl oh rama is like this oh rama is like that there nobody who can match rama how he thinks all the time about the greatness glory mahima of ram he is able to choose out from this vast amount of glories of rama all the pearls today you heard me chanting in beginning na what is there's a, there's a line that line comes from uttarakhand more tum i'll tell you now that line and i'll tell you some more thing about that say listen to the line more tum prabhu गुरु पितु माता प्रभु इज माय टू मी गुरु पिता आई मीन गुरु मदर एंड फादर एंड मदर मोरे तुम प्रभु गुरु पितु माता जाऊं कहा तजी पद जल जाता टू मी प्रभु यू आर माय मदर फादर एंड माय गुरु and if i drop your lotus feet i leave your lotus feet where i will go where to, where i will go in this sansar if i drop your feet leaving your feet where i will go this line is being said by angad to bhagwan ram 
when Bhagwan Ram, after the coronation, and everything is over now, Bhagwan Ram is sending back everybody. Angad doesn't want to go. And remember, it's the same Ram that killed his father. How sensible and how wise is this Angad? He's telling Bhagwan Ram. Now see, this is a pearl in the vast glory of Ram. That Rama's feet, his lotus feet, is so attractive that even one who lo who, wh whose father was killed by Rama, that person becomes a, such a devotee of Rama that he doesn't want to leave the feet of Rama. This is called one of the pearls of the glories of that. I'm giving an example. Each time I see this verse, each time I hear this verse, each time I chant this verse, I remember our very beloved Dharmacharya of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Pandit Parasramji. He likes this verse. He says it all the time. Leaving your lotus feet, Prabhu, where I will go? So, the one who can, like a hamsa bird, take out the pearls and leave all the other things. Prabhu, and now again he says, Ram Basahu Hiya Tasu. Means you stay in his heart. He doesn't say Lakshmana and Sita Ji, like that. That is number three. See this. Prabhu Prasad Suchi Subhaga Subhasa Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Sadar Jasulahai Nitnasa Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Tumahi Vedit Bhojan Karahi Shri Ram Jai Ram Prabhu Prasad Pakya Bhushan Dharai Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Sis Navahi Sura Guru Dej Dekhi Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Priti Sahit Prasad Suchi Subhaga Subhasa Sadar Jasul Hai Nit Nasa Now you say, the person who actually dwell in that person's heart who Rama Pada Karahi Nit Karahi Kara Nit Karahi Rama Pada Pooja That the one who does Ram Pooja all the time And I have to tell you a little bit also about Pooja Pooja is where we get all the five senses 
united, integrated and focused on worship. That is puja, eh? where we get all the five senses integrated and focused on a higher reality. This thing is called as puja. And therefore, in the puja, there are things there to catch or to treat the five senses, to entertain the five senses, to bring the five senses into focus. So that is what here now Valmiki ji is telling to Bhagwan Ram. Prabhu Prasada Sushi Subhaga Subhasa Sadar Jasu Lahai Nita Nasa. Na, the one who does, stay in the heart of the person who does puja to Bhagwan all the time and who uses all of his senses in an integrated fashion to do that puja. So the nose wants to smell the agarbati and the gugul and the camphor and you know, if this thing is practiced, you'll... I don't know if you, if you feel that, huh? but the moment I smell Google, I, 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 a different feeling comes to me. And of course, nowadays, you don't get proper Google, you know. And, and not, not only is it Google, this kush kush, when you smell, it's always used in puja or not? So, the nose smells all those things which are used in the puja. And he eats only food which has been offered to Bhagwan. Nivedita means Nivedya. Food which has been offered. He eats like that. Prabhu Prasada Patabhushana Bhutarahi. And those, I don't know if we do here in Trinidad, but it's a very good thing to, it comes in Ramayana. Something for us to bring back. I think we lost it. But I have seen it practiced throughout India. Let us say you get some new clothes, right? Or you buy some new jewelry. Or you buy something that you're going to wear. They wait. The families wait. And when they do puja on that day, whatever new things that they have bought to wear, anything, jewelry or clothes, anything. They offer it at this, this time, whenever that uh, Naivedya is being offered, and that Vastra, after Naivedya, Vastra comes, and, I mean, before Naivedya, Vastra comes, na? So that Vastra, they offer at that time to Bhagwan, and then only they wear that thing. That is still practiced profusely throughout India, but I think we lost that here. So this is what this line is saying. So if the line is there in Ramayana, why should we not practice? That thing which has been offered to Bhagwan has become his prasad. So they keep it until the day when they have puja. They never wait. And, and not lost it, profusely practiced in India till today. We lost it. Man, we go in the, in the fitting room in the store and put it on and come home. Isn't it? Anyway. See Sanavahi Sura Guru Dvija Dekhi Priti Sahit Kari Binaya Viseshi. Those people who bow their heads, see Sanavahi, before the Devatas, before Guru, before the Dvija, before the Brahmana. Priti Sahit Kari Binaya Viseshi. And with great love, they make supplications to them. Karanita karahi, Ramapada puja. And who does puja for the feet, whose hands do puja for the feet of Bhagwan Ram. Ram of Rosa Hridaya Nahi Duja. And have Bhagwan Ram as their only support. The one who has, the people who have you as their only support. Hey, Prabhu. And their feet. See, these are all what karma indriyas. Hand and feet, they are karma indriyas. Eyes, nose, ears, and all of those, those are called as jnana indriyas. So all the indriyas used for worship of Ram. See, Charan Ram Tirat Chali Jahi, whose feet go on Tirat. Ram Basahu Tinake Manamahi. Again, only Ram. Dwell in the heart of those people. Then, number five. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Tarpana home, a caray, the 
Jap hi tumhara Prabhu. Now I'm seeing this one. This is number five. The fifth home, fifth house. Siyara Gunandan do tinake mana mandir basahu. You stay along with Sitaji and Lakshmanji in the hearts of these people. So number five, he says we should stay with them. Who people? Mantra Raj and it Jap hi tumhara. Who chant Mantra Raj? Maha Mantra is what? You know, from the Upanishad, Maha Mantra, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. This is how it is written in the, in the Upanishad, huh? Maha Mantra. But here Tulsi Raji called Mantra Raj. What is Mantra Raj? Ram. Ram, 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 Bolo. This is Mantra Raj. This is the king of all mantras. Huh? So, those who constantly chant this mantra Raj, he says, you stay in their heart. Puja hi tumahi sahita pariva and worship you along with their whole family. Stay in their heart. Tarpan ho makarahi vidhi nana and who do all these rituals. Tarpan. Tarpan, you know. And you offer for the ancestors and all. Stay in the hearts of those people. Tarpan and homa. Who do tarpan homa ityadi. Biprajavai dehi baudana. Dehi baudana. Stay in the hearts of those people who, get, who, do, who give food to the Bipra, who give food to the wise ones, holy ones, and give Bahudana, not of Dakshina. Stay in the hearts of those people. Tumate Adhika Gurahi Jiyajani Sakalabhai Sevahi Sanmani. And stay in the hearts of those people who consider the guru to be even greater than you. Who consider the guru to be great, even greater than you and do all seva for the guru. Stay in the hearts of those people. Sabakari maagahi ek phalo. And doing all that, after doing all of this thing which we just listed, he says, they ask for only one result, one fruit. And this is an interesting thing. Eh? Even in Tulsi Ramayan, I don't know how he developed this culture of beggary. It is amazing. Even in Rama, this beggary is not there. Eh? When we go on um, doing all of these spiritual things, worship and puja, and we go on asking Bhagwan, let my son get this, let my daughter get that, let me get this work, let me get that money, let me get this house, let me get this car. That, that, that is beggary. Eh? Valmiki is telling to Bhagwan Ram, well in the heart of those people, who they do all of this spirit, chant mantra raj, they do puja, they do worship, they do tarpan, homa, all the different things. And in the end, what they ask for? Rama Charana Rati Ho. May I bless me with the constant revelry in your feet. Hmm? This is true devotion, really. All other things is beggary. Eh? And uh, beggary and absolutely useless. Beggary and absolutely useless because what is, in this world only one law rules this world. That law is called law of karma. Eh? Karma pradhan biswakari rakha. Jo jasa karai so tasa palu chakha. So if you want this thing, 
You tell me something. Let me, I'll just show you. If you want this thing, right? Two people want it. One fellow goes on praying, Bhagwan, please give me that. Bhagwan, please give me that. And the other fellow working to get money to buy it. Who go get it? Bhagwan will say, you lazy fellow, you pray for a million years, you will not get it. Huh? Otherwise, the law of karma will be, will, will be destroyed. Right? This one pray and he got it, and this fellow do the work and he got it. Then the law of karma doesn't work then. The idea is, if you do the work, you will certainly get it. And if you don't do the work, you will never get it. That is the idea. It's a simple thing. So you sow, so shall you reap. Hmm? So prayer was never meant for that, though it has descended into that. So he said, after all of this, stay in the heart of those people who ask, after all of this, for this one fruit only. They want one thing only. What? To revel in your feet. Hmm? They're not begging for some material worldly thing. That is the idea. Huh? And this is a fa famous verse. This verse is next chapter, number six, it will be. Sixth abode. You know who used to sing? The late Lata Mangeshkar. If you listen to her, I don't know where you will find it, but I heard her singing long ago. Kaam ko hamad maan namo Now only Bhagavan Ram alone details. You live in those people's hearts. Who? Kama koha madamanana moha. Whose hearts are bereft of, devoid of. What? Kama koha madaman moha. All these things, several things he'll tell. Kama means lust, desires like that. Koha means anger. Whose hearts are free from anger. Mother, arrogance. A tremendous thing, this arrogance. Then, man. Man means pride. Pride. And moha, delusion. Delusion means seeing things upside down. So, whose hearts are free from that. Otherwise, we see many things upside down. Eh? And the, the, the basic and fundamental thing is what, what is good for us, we think it is bad. And what is bad for us, we think it is good. Ma, we are cooked. Kareli and Roti, oh God, Kareli, you want to kill me? Kareli, eh? eh? But you, you think in, you think not good for you, but Kareli, good. Where you cook today? She come home the next day. Where you cook today? Soya chunks and roti. Aha! Soya chunks and roti. You think not good for you, but you think it is? Good. That, that is Moha. This is called Moha, and we do this a million times over in our life. Hmm? So whose heart is devoid of Moha? Loba na choba. Loba means greed. This will come up again. Throughout our mind, this will come. Eh? Stay in the hearts of those people that are free from greed. See, Bhagwan is going to stay in that heart. Right? And this heart is full of calm, crowd, low, Moha, Matara, everything. That heart. Who wants to stay in a pig pen? 
Huh? Anybody wants to stay in that big pen? Style. We don't want to stay in a style. We want to stay in style. Chob, whose heart is free from chob means chob. Chob means free from agitation and fretting. You know, people are fretting all the time for nothing. You catch a fit. For what? No reason. Why are you acting up so? Calm down now. You're acting up for nothing. Like that. Chob. Na raga na droha. Raga dvesh means likes and dislikes. Whose hearts are free from likes and dislikes. Otherwise, you have too many. So I mean, I don't like when you say that, man. <laughs> See, right there you have likes and dislikes. <laughs> I don't like when you say that. Tineke kapat dhamma nahi maya. Whose heart is free from fraud, kapat, hypocrisy and all. Duplicity. Duplicity, like that. Free from and dhamma, hypocrisy. Maya. Maya means delusion. In his heart, you stay. Bhagavan. Now, number seven. Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram. चंद्र की जय सबके प्रिय सबके हितकारी सुख दुख सुख सरिस प्रशंसा गारी स्टे इन दी हार्ट्स ऑफ दोस पीपल हु आर सबके प्रिय हु लव्स एवरीबॉडी स्टे इन दी हार्ट ऑफ दोस पीपल हु लव्स एवरीबॉडी एंड सबके हितकारी एंड हु डज गुड टुवर्ड्स ऑल लाइक आई टोल्ड यू दिस थिंग्स विल कम अगेन एंड अगेन ओवर एंड ओवर इन दिस रामायण परम धर्म Supreme Dharma is to do upakar, paro upakar. 
means to do good to others. So stay in the hearts of those people who are like that. And then sukh, a dukh, sukh, sarisa, sar, for whom joy and sorrow is same. And prasamsa gari. Joy and sorrow is same. Means the person is balanced in joy. And this is Bhagavad Gita. Eh? Or this is Chaupai put, teaching what Bhagavad Gita. Sukha dukhe same kritva lava lava jaya jaya. Same thing. Who is balanced in joy and sorrow. And also in prasamsa gari. Prasamsa gari means some people will praise you and tell you nice things. And some people will curse you. What to do? That is what the very world is, isn't it? So take a little cost and thing now and then. Oh, that is okay. Hmm. What? What? <laughs> but remain balance. Kahi sat te priya bachana vichari, and who speak three qualities are given: satya, priya, and vichari. Bachan means words that are truthful. Loving, loving and finally, finally after, after having, having given, given due thought, thought to the words. words. That is the idea. Not just speak. Otherwise you speak, 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 and then only go, oh, no, I should not say that, you know. You mean I say that why? <laughs> Bichari, thinking first. Talk think before you speak. That is it's all that come from Ramayana only. Jagata so vata sarana tumhari. And in in wake and dream, person who is surrendered to you, Prabhu, stay in his heart. Tumai chari gati du saranahi. Leaving you, he has no other refuge. Leaving you, that person has no other refuge. Like Angad was telling just now to Bhagwan Ram. Hmm? Stay in those people's heart. Then number eight. Shri Ram Jay Ram. Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai Paranari, stay in the hearts of those people. Well, this would be men. And it will go in the reverse for women. Who consider another man's wife as his own mother? Stay in the hearts of those people who consider another man's wife as his own mother. Dhanuparava Bishate Bishop Hari. And stay in the hearts of those people who consider another person's wealth as poison. You anybody will go touch poison? Here, here is a jar of sulfuric acid. Touch it. Let us see. Sulfuric acid. <laughs> Nobody will touch, isn't it? So another man's wealth should be considered like that. Not touch it with a rod even we should not. Touch another person's wealth. That is the idea. Jai Harashahi 
पर संपत्ति देखी ही हु सीज अनदर पर्सन प्रस्पेरिटी एंड वेल्थ एंड इज हैप्पी फॉर दैट पर्सन एंड दुखी तो हो ही पर विपत्ति भी शेषी एंड वेन दैट अदर पर्सन सफर्स एनी लॉस और कलामिटी और एनी सच थिंग वी आर सॉरी फॉर दैट पर्सन और वी आर सॉरोफुल वेन वी सी दैट सो वी सी दी अदर्स प्रॉस्पेरिटी वी आर हैप्पी आई वेन वी सी दे डाउनफॉल वी आर मिजरेबल स्टे इन दैट पर्सन हार्ट दैट इज वॉट ई मीन्स तीन तीन ही राम तुम प्राण प्यारे हु होल्ड यू एज देयर इज ओन लाइफ प्रभु यू स्टे इन हिज हार्ट ओके नमस्ते जिनके सब तुम तात फॉर हुम यू आर प्रभु यू आर स्वामी सखा पितु मातु गुरु जस्ट आई वॉज जस्ट एलिंग बट लाइक अंगद यू आर माई मास्टर यू आर माई फ्रेंड यू आर माई फादर यू आर माई मदर यू आर माई गुरु सो हु एवर कंसिडर्स यू लाइक दिस यू स्टे इन हिज हार्ट बट दिस टाइम इज सी अ सहित दो भ्रात अलॉन्ग विथ सीता एंड लक्ष्मण Stay in the, that heart. Now, out of fourteen, I finish ten. We have four to finish, but we time finish. <laughs> so we will see tomorrow. And those who are wondering about getting, about being behind, don't worry. Eh? we can go slow like a bull cart and we can go fast like a 747 also you know huh? so we'll catch up i told you okay tomorrow satsang will be at the ashram hmm? and sunday as well isn't it two days at the ashram sunday we are having jalpan extravaganza our food fair at the ashram um you all are invited to come and try some delectable dishes things to have to eat there today is doha chanting with members of the mandir assisted by hindu prachar kendra thank you all for coming and chanting ram yeah yes so yes members of the mandir assisted by hindu prachar kendra it says but when i came in i recognized the chanting <laughs> all right pandit baldar ji will receive the token today and then he will also say a few words uh, as vote of thanks and then we'll have aarti so here is uh, actually people are now calling to purchase this Five more than five hundred hours of Ramayan. Like how we are doing this Ramayan? We did the whole thing in 2017, 2018, almost two years, and it is there on a flash drive. And we are giving it to all the temples where we go. So, please, please receive this on behalf of the temple members, and we are, hope you all enjoy listening. Jai Sri Ram, Jai Chana Bhavanu, Swamiji, Sita. Members of Chennai Mission, 
members of our Mandaris. I extend a cordial welcome at this point in time. It's not too late, that's one. It's any time isn't all that finished. But to everything that good, time goes in a cycle, it has to come to an end. But I would like to thank Swamiji and Chinmaya Mission for coming out, for actually giving us this opportunity to host this one night, to be part of this great 108 Raman Yaj taking place in Trinidad and to be good. Not many organizations will take a step like that. Swami is coming out and to bring places like this alive. Today, I must say thanks to the members who work hard to prepare all the ambience, whatever little refreshments and all those who contributed, my Bhagawan, also reside in your heart. <laughs> Correcting. It'll come up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to thank very much Pandit Bisramji, very instrumental. And this, this satsang came as a, in the correct timing that Pandaji, during the COVID, since last year, we were hiding and doing the Ramayana class here. So he had all these, what you, Swamiji, will interpret as Kendra. They, um, they joined the Ramayana class. Mm -hmm. So today, I would like to thank the members, Sri Sunji, Veeraji, not Janet, and her daughter and their daughter Shanta most graciously for being here. Also Sri Subhagaji, always here, always here that not forgetting Sri Dekariaji who was here and Sri Rukmani Bipat, not forgetting Mitra, my son, he played drum tabla for them. And I would like, you know, to they found the time to come and join, to excel their, to expand their knowledge. This is the kind of avenue we must choose. Just like Swami said, don't study the paper number. Study these things that will put us on. It will bring good blessings to you. In, our, in absence, one member of the, the, the Ramayana class passed on because of COVID. Sri Dev KV Singh. And today we remember him when we were practicing. You remember him all the time. You always say Jolly, known for Ram Leela and so on in his own area. So today remember those that all who go, has gone behind to the great beyond. Also members of the Monday who have lost loved ones in this time. Such type of yaj brings satisfaction for the Atma. Reading of Ramayana, it brings that sort of satisfaction. satisfaction. So I thank each and every one of you for being here tonight, Swamiji. I don't want to keep it too long. And if I have missed anyone, it is, you know, this, when you're on the spot, because we had planned a nice little something where I would have gotten another member to come and do much more better than what I'm doing. But I said, if there's anything to take you legs, I just say, we, we take you the praise and we take you the cost I will handle that. I will handle that. So, one, Jai Sitaram to each and every one of you. God, Bhagwan's blessings. Thank you. Thank you, Pandit. So nice. So, um, we from our side want to say a very special thank you to you and the members and yeah, all the members of the, the temple for working so hard to put together this nice arrangement for all of us. We thank you profusely. Um, a special thank you to Ravi and Kiran Sound System and to the media 101.7 FM radio, Heritage Radio and all the people who are taking it live on all the various media. Okay. Hari Om and thank you. If you want to um, do pre-orders for our Jalpan Extravaganza, you can call up and you have to order in bulk. You can order one slice of pizza or something. To order a whole pizza. Then you can have pre orders. Um, you must come and try the pizza also. We have something called a gourmet pizza. It's not just any pizza. Gourmet pizza with almond and nuts and things. 
You've never tried, you must come and try it. Okay, please see our bookstall. There, at the back of Saburu sitting there, Mahamrityun Jaya Mantra and this explanation. Mahamrityun Trembakam Yajamahe, like that. Hindu culture is a very famous book. This book by Guruji was presented to Prime Minister Modi also, by Guruji himself. Very well known, all about, this in simple form, Hindu culture. But we have a book of fun and facts for children. All sorts of books are there for children also. Please have a look. Achha, theek hai. Thank you, Pandit. And we'll have Aarti. Aarti. Aarti Shri Ramayan Ji Ki Kirati Kalit Lalit Siya Pi Ki Aarti Shri Ramayan Ji Ki Kirati Kalit Lalit Siya Pi Ki Kavat Brahma Jyamuni Narad Balmi Kadi Yan Om Purnamada Purnamidam 
पूर्णात् पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओं शांति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं बोलो सियावर रामचंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय भाई सब संतन की जय श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय नम पार्वती पते हर हर महादेव हरिओम